Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot bringing some more Madden 18 budget beasts. We got quarterbacks today. One of the most important positions in the game. If you don't have a good quarterback, you can pretty much throw the entire passing game away. And I know this is a passing league, so we're looking at some of the best quarterbacks in the game right here. But the chances are you're probably not going to be able to get a lot of these guys. They're going to be very expensive. Uh, this year, accuracy is one of the most important things. EA already came out and said that if you don't have an accurate quarterback, your quarterback's going to stink. So I'm going to give you some budget beast quarterbacks for you. I'm going to give you guys that have some mobility, guys that have good throw power, and guys that have accuracy is good to all levels. Uh, so if, no matter what type of game you like to play, uh, you can make that happen with these guys. These are all going to be uh, cheaper versions of uh, really good quarterbacks. All right, so coming up first, you can't get much cheaper than free. We got Matt Stafford. This is the core elite that you can pick uh, with your choice of one player from any team when you buy the game. This core elite is a little bit different than the other core elite. There's a lot of quarterbacks to choose from, but what I like about this one is he has one of the highest throw powers in the game. He's probably in the top 20 in throw power. Uh, his speed's not the best, but it's adequate, I guess. Um, he's not really a mobile option, so uh, but that's not that's fine. That's not what he's about. If you if you want to find a guy with throw power, it's really hard to find those guys um, in cheaper cards. But A3 throw power is essentially elite at this time. And then if you look at all of his accuracies, they're all above 70. I'm gonna try to keep all these guys to have accuracies above 70 because I think that's important. Um, but like I said, you sacrifice a little bit in speed, but a really good quarterback, and like I say, he's free. All right, next up we got the first guy you got to pay for. This is Joe Flacco, a gold, a 79 gold, so he's just under an elite, but he has elite throw power. That's right. He's another one of these guys. He's the highest rated gold card as far as throw power. So an 84 throw power is very good at this point in the game. All of his actors above 70, like I said, that's a criteria. Um, this is not a popular name, so you probably get him even cheaper, but Joe Flacco, if you want a good pocket passing quarterback, this is your guy. Next up, we're going to start getting some mobile quarterbacks. I personally am going to pick a mobile quarterback, and this might be the guy right here. Marcus Mariota, just barely missing the elite level, a 79 gold card. And if you look at his stats, once again, all of his accuracies are above 70. That's all you really need to be to make this list. But his physical attributes, 81 speed is one of the tops. 83 acceleration is one of the tops. And it'll probably make him one of the most popular quarterbacks in the game. Coming up next, we got my boy, Carson Wentz, leading the Eagles to the playoffs this year. Mark it down. Uh, but he's a very good quarterback in Mutt, too. A 79 overall goal, so he's just below the elite level. But a 76 speed is one of the highest you're going to get for a gold card, as well as an 81 acceleration. Once again, one of the highest you're going to get for a gold card. Uh, his throwing accuracy, too, doesn't have anything lower than a 72. With some of the cards I showed you previously, had 71, 70s. So I know it's not a huge difference, but I'm just saying, this guy's a very accurate QB. Coming up next, another gold card, Teddy Bridgewater. Here's a guy that, you know, injured in real life. Who knows what's going to happen to him, but in Mutt, they don't give a crap about that. There's no injuries in Mutt. So this guy guy's still a really good card. Once again, accuracy across the board, all above 71. Uh, his speed is 76, 81 acceleration, just like Carson Wentz. So this guy right here, for my money, is a much bigger playmaker uh, than somebody like a Sam Bradford, who you know obviously is playing for the same team. But in Mutt, this guy's a really good player. And then next up we got <coughs> and, then <coughs> and then next up we got Blake Bortles. This guy right here. Yes. No. I'll see it in, in what what what? I'm doing something. Okay, well it's yeah, I'm, I have to do this. You still here? All right, so up next we got Blake Bortles. Here's a guy who's kind of languishing in the NFL, hasn't really broken through, and that's re reflective in his rating as a 78, but he's still a really good Madden quarterback. 73 speed, 76 acceleration, he's got that mobility that you want, and then all of his accuracy is above 70. So obviously he's not that you know flashy, uh, being, being somebody who's not playing that great in the NFL, but he's a really good player. 
All right, so up next we got Blake Bortles. Here's a guy who's kind of languished in the NFL, hasn't really broken through, and that's re- reflective in his rating as a 78. But he's still a really good Madden quarterback. 73 speed, 76 acceleration. He's got that mobility that you want, and then all of his accuracy is above 70. So obviously he's not that you know flashy, uh, being being somebody who's not playing that great in the NFL, but he's a really good player. Next up we got Jared Goff. We're not really sure if this guy's going to be a bust in real life or not, but this is mud. It really doesn't matter. So 76 overall. Uh, nice and low, still kind of noticeable. He was the number one pick. 72 speed, 80 acceleration, so he's nice and mobile. All of his accuracy is once again above 70, which is the pretty much the criteria to make this list right now. Next up, we got another free card, Philip Rivers. This is uh, something you can pick uh, out of your free team cards again. Um, he has some deficiencies as far as speed goes and throw power, but if you want an accurate quarterback with a good play action, there's nobody in the game that has that better right now uh, than this guy, at least as far as a free card goes. Uh, his short accuracy, his, his mid accuracy, and his deep accuracy, Actually, all above 80, and his play action is 88. I'm, I'm a big believer in play action. I think it's a big deal. If his throw power wasn't so bad, I probably would go with this guy. Um, but either way, I mean, if you'd like a guy, if you're a dink and dunk type of quarterback, a high percentage quarterback, this is your guy. Next up, we got Cody Kessler. I don't know what this guy did in real life, but he's got a pretty decent Madden card. I know he played quite a bit last year, but I didn't think he was any good. I mean, maybe it's just because he plays in Cleveland. I automatically thought that, but 77 overall gold card, 71 speed, 76 acceleration, so he's mobile. He's got good accuracies, above 70 in every category, once again. So this guy right here, I don't know what he did, but he's mirroring a lot of other cards of guys that actually had good years in the NFL.